You were saying that if they wouldn't have tried to turn against us with force, we wouldn't have been able to stand up against them, we wouldn't be around today. My point was no, because there were Christians turning against us right into the 20th century and we still did despite So give me an example in the Middle Ages where the Jews were able, after a king had said, I don't want any Jews in my land, the Jews were able to say, try and get us out. Every single century of Christian every history single, has evolved major massacres against the Jews. And every single century of Christian history has preserved the Jewish community in Europe. That is why there are Jews in Europe. What you have demonstrated, though, is that the Catholic Church did save thousands of Jews. Only those that wanted to convert. Where's your evidence? has been very much uh, affected all the way down by the Jewish presence. Not denying without, that. What's without, your point? I mean, without, I mean, Jews are very much an interesting part of European history. European and you would have, you, if you get rid of all of us, or stop us being Jewish, or get all stop us all being Jewish. Wait, hold Jewish. on a second. Did I say get rid of all I said, or stop us all being Jewish. Did I, no, I wanted to convert, the, yes, that's you, right. You, then Europe wouldn't be what Europe has always been anymore. That would be the end of European heritage as it has always been. No, the, 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 Christian, the Christian understanding has always been that every Jew should become a Christian. The fact that we didn't put a knife to your neck and force you all to become Christian. Well, actually, throughout no, history, much on. of that has been no, happening. I'm sorry, the, the, the very the fact, you've just contradicted yourself. How, well, how? Because the very fact that you have said there's always been Jews in Europe shows that there hasn't been a consistent campaign to force Jews to become Christian. I never said there was consistent, but so, it has happened you. frequently over the period. There has definitely been there has been many. There, there, been times. I mean, the Crusades, the many Jewish there, communities were massacred. Been times. Yeah, absolutely. Whole, it's whole true. communities are going from the Middle Ages all the way until the 20th century. It's true, but the very fact that there's always been Jewish communities in Europe shows that there was never, ever a, a because let's be honest. It, it showed that the people who tried to wipe us out let's, didn't No, succeed. let's be honest. We could have quite easily. The Jews were never in sufficient numbers or power to stop Christian kings from doing that if they wanted to. And the very examples, like in England, when all the Jews were kicked out of England, bearing in mind that they were welcomed back by Oliver Cromwell. Hundreds of years yeah, later. Yes, hundreds of years later, demonstrates the fact that if Christians had had this teaching, like Muslims did in Saudi Arabia. I prove you you're wrong. Like, like, the Holocaust. No. The governments Rubbish. tried to kill every single man, woman and child and they, they killed many of us but the communities, there were still communities afterwards. And they survived by who what? By the fact that there were groups willing to save Jews that like the Catholic no Church, to, the like Catholic the Catholic Church, Church, Church who Church hid Catholic. thousands of Jews Only those in its monasteries. No, Only that's those, not true. They, they kidnapped proof. children and forced them Where's to your proof? Where's your proof, Where's your proof that during... Right, here's my proof. After after World War II, immediately after World War II, with the foundation of the State of Israel, the Jewish state declared that the Pope, I forget which Pope it was, Pope Pius something, was a righteous man because of the number of Jews that were saved by the Catholic Church. Now I've given you some evidence, where's your evidence that those Jews that were saved by the Catholic Church were only saved because they were willing to convert? Where's because your evidence the, to that? The fact, the fact that there were whole organisations that had to go into the, into the monasteries and find the Jewish children despite the fact that they were untraceable. So you've not actually proven and your claim then? And the, the, the people who run so you, the monasteries, your proof? the people who run the monasteries, refuse to reveal the so identity. You, so you, so you haven't proven your claim then. You haven't proven your claim. That is the thing. You haven't. You proven your claim. You've made a completely different claim to your original claim, and you're dressing it up like it's your original claim. Your original no. claim the original was, claim was the original they, they claim was no. You, your original claim was the, the only say choose that were willing to convert. You've provided so zero you evidence for that fact. Okay. However, how about, one second. How about, how about one the fact second. that there was collaboration however, by Europe? However, Europeans. what you I've have demonstrated, no, what you proof. have demonstrated no, is I that can, the Catholic that Church, right because you're not one, 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 anyway. one demonstrated, it's because you're just not shutting up. What you have demonstrated, though, what you have demonstrated, though, is that the Catholic Church did save thousands of Jews. Only those that wanted to convert. Where's your evidence? The fact that the Pope refused to speak up against the Holocaust. The fact that many Catholics and Protestants across Europe collaborated with the Nazis in the rounding up of the Jews. 
to do Martin Luther. Right, so let's just remember the claim. The claim was that the Catholic Church only saved Jews who were willing to convert. How does the evidence, in quote marks, that the Pope didn't speak out against the Holocaust prove that the wars, those that were brought into the monasteries were only brought in because they were willing to convert. How does the fact that there were Catholics, that the fact that there were Catholics and Christians who got in bed with the Nazis prove that those that were brought into the monasteries were only brought in because they were willing to convert? In other words, you have not connected your evidence to your claim. Your claim remains unproven. But do what you proof, dispute? What proof do you, do have you dispute? That they willing to come to the way, willing to do you control? dispute? Can I ask do you? Your yes, I'm going. Yeah, I'm going to answer. It. I'm asking you a question. You haven't let yeah. me ask the question. You do know. you dispute that Jews were hidden in monasteries and churches across Europe by the Catholic Church? Are you disputing no, that? that? Right. So you accept my claim. And do you dispute the fact Thank that you. I was saying earlier that Christians have used brute force? right down the ages into the 20th century to massacre Jews. I am not disputing that there's been anti-Christian pogroms, no. Anti-Jewish pogroms, you know. Anti I Did I not say that? You said anti-Christian. Sorry, my apologies. Anti-Semitic pogroms. Not disputing that. It's so, a total fact. So the, the, the point that I was What's your point? Try, the point that I was trying to make, which you kind of uh, diverted away from... I really didn't. ...was that you were... Was that I was originally... Um, I was originally saying that the Jews have been here down the ages. Yes. Been part of the culture. And you were saying that the that you know the Christians never tried, never tried to force us to convert. If they would have done, that's not what I if said. If they would have done, then we wouldn't be here because we're too small to resist. That's not what I said. My proof. What my point was that when they did try and do this, you've mischaracterized. When they did try, when they did, you mischaracterized. You mischaracterized what I've been saying. You're trying my to steal all my was, best lines. As my well. point <laughs> was. My point was. <laughs> You were saying that if they wouldn't have tried to turn against us with force, we wouldn't have been able to stand up against them, we wouldn't be around today. My point was no, because there were Christians turning against us right into the 20th century and we're still here despite that. Right, no, and, and here's where you mischaracterise me. Because what I said was, because your argument was that Christian civilization would not be the same without the Jewish people. And I said that within the Christian worldview, there was always the calling of the Jewish people to become Christians. But that was not done by force. As in, that within the Christian worldview, there isn't a teaching that says, put a dagger to a Jew's neck and force them to become a Christian. But that's what's been happening that is, the No, what you, allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. Now, now, he says that that's what the church fathers all said, so please bring me that as evidence. So where's your evidence that the church fathers taught that we should stick a dagger to the Jew's neck and force them to become Jewish? Where's your evidence? Ever heard of something called the Inquisition? He's talking about the church fathers, you're talking about the Inquisition. They're two different things. Where's, where, which church father taught that? Don't know. And again and again, this is what you're doing. Again and again, this is what you're doing. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. I am not denying that in church history there has been horrendous acts of anti-Semitism. However, what I am saying, and please try to listen to what I'm saying, is that Christianity has never had a teaching that would justify that anti-Semitism as a practice. Therefore, the very fact that there has always been Jews in Europe is testament to the fact that Christians have always had a place in our heart, in our societies, for Jews. But that is not different from saying that all Jews should become Christians. Because I believe all Jews should become Christians. And if they do, that would be consistent to a Christian civilization. Just like all Muslims should become Christians, and all pagans, and all atheists. Sorry, Jews have always had a place in Christian society? Yes. What about the Inquisition? The Inquisition was against uh, fake converts from Islam. The Spanish Inquisition is what you're talking about. And you know why there were fake and, cons and you know why what? there were so many fake let's, converts? Let's, let's be clear. They were forced to convert yes, on exactly. pain of yes, death. Yes, absolutely. And who organised that? Absolutely. The King of Spain. Uh, and the King of Spain. And who gave him the backing? Who gave him the It wasn't the Pope. 
course it was. It was not it was the, the Pope. Inquisition. You don't know the history. That's why it's called the Spanish Inquisition. That was part of the Inquisition. It was Inquisition. part of... No. Spanish Inquisition. Did, did, Inquisitions did, 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 were locally organized. It carried all over Europe There was an office of Inquisition. The, the, the Inquisition. The, 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 the Inquisition. You are confusing the office of the Inquisition inside the Vatican with the Spanish Inquisition. And they are not the, the, the same did. thing. The Inquisition in Spain was organized and funded by the Spanish monarchy. And yes, it was because there was forced conversions from Islam to Christianity after the liberation of Spain. Sorry, the Spanish Inquisition... The, one, second. Second. No. one second, no. the, Spanish Inquisition the point that you're making, more. the point that you're making yeah. is that this proves that across Europe and no. across the entire Christian no. world, no. there was no place for Jews. No. You do you not said, prove your point no. from an isolated no. event. No. You said that Jews have always had a place within yes, Christian Europe. Yes, they have. Not in the Spanish Inquisition when they were all kicked out. Or in many of the other Which is an isolated incident right. that happened in after Christian the liber Europe. Yes, that right. happened after the and liberation the of Spain. They always have a place and in the Crusades, in the and the and the so, so, so now answer me this question. This was not isolated. And answer me this question. Well, sorry. Let me ask you a question. Sorry, it was part of what, the what, How did those Jews survive? How did those Jews survive 1400 years in a Christian civilization? Divine intervention. Before the Spanish Inquisition. Divine they intervention. <laughs> why, were they, why did they survive? Were they politically tolerated? Sometimes. There you go. Sometimes. 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 So therefore. So, so, so you therefore, accept that you're wrong. You accept you're wrong. No, I'm there accepting were times that you're wrong. Within Christian Europe, I'm accepting that you're wrong. I'm accepting that you're wrong. So there was so, 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 so there was a time within Christian Europe. No, I'm not saying that. So there wasn't a time. No, I'm, what, what I'm position. saying. What I'm saying. <laughs> and yeah, if you could actually every listen. Single century of Christian every history single century has involved major massacres against the Jews. And every single century of Christian history has preserved the Jewish community in Europe. That is why there are Jews in Europe. The only reason the Jews today and has always equal, been Jews in Europe. The only uh, Jews only became equal citizens when the church lost its power. In the, I agree. In the, if, if not for the fact, if the church was still had political power, we would still be in ghettos. I agree. Yeah. So, but the, so you let's really go back. Us for who let's, we go, are. let's go you back to the root. Who we are or how we are now? As Christians, we call all people to become Christian. As Christians, we call all so people to become Christians. You're being all embracing. You're going to welcome everyone as long as we like you. We no. In terms of the Christian faith, we call all people to become Christians. That is our faith. That is what we do. But if we don't, then we don't really belong in your society. What? No. Th th this is your. This is once again your misreading of history. The fact that the Jews were preserved in Europe demonstrates that Christians had an understanding of European civilization that included the Jewish people being Jewish. It, it, it means that you basically didn't succeed Explain in your goal of getting to me. rid of us. Well, you say that. Your goal. Where's your evidence that Christians had a non goal to force war. Muslims? Sorry, to force Jews to become Christians. All the, all, all the wars, the Pope. Dude, bro, just think logically, right? The Jewish people, you would agree. Our history just, is dominated by just, just, I accept that. Would you agree cool. that where a king has decided that he doesn't want the Jews in his land, that they have always been able to force the Jews out like happened in England. Not always. Give me an example where the Jews were able to resist a king who said, Prague. I don't want any Jews in my land. Prague. Prague. Go on, what happened? I think it was the 19th century. They tried to evict us in the The 19th end. century is post-Enlightenment, so it's post-Christian. Yes, but it, no. It was, it was still a Christian. No, 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 society. no, no. It's post-Enlightenment, so it's post-Christian. You said, so give me an example in the Middle Ages where the Jews were able, after a king had said, I don't want any Jews in my land, the Jews were able to say, try and get us out. We'll stop you. Go on, give me an example. Spain. What happened? Um, 1492, we were all evicted. But there Thank were, you, but, all evicted. But, but yeah. there were always Jews remaining. They were hiding, right? In hiding. In hiding, right. They, remain, they maintain their identity, and they maintain their identity as Maranas, is what they were called. To this day, there's still a community of... So, so no, no, Maranas, Maranas were people that gave the outward trappings of going to church. But they still maintain their Jewish identity. Okay. So, so therefore, they weren't able to get rid of them. I agree, I agree, in this instance. So what we're talking about, though, is the fact that where a Christian king, who does something that I would agree is unjust and wrong, of saying, I don't want any Jews in my land, or Jews all have to become Christians, the Jews had zero power to stop them, they had to go underground. My point being, 
the very fact that Christians did not do that consistently through history and have not done one second and have not done that consistently through history demonstrates the fact that Christians always allow Jews to exist. It's in not ghetto. part of our world view. Jews in ghetto. To exist? It's, well, that's just the historical why reality. Is it allowing? Why do you need to give us permission? Because I'm just talking about you, the historical hold reality. On second, hold on I'm just talking about the historical yeah, reality. I'm not, not making comment on its moral obligation. We existed in ghettos. We yes. were kept apart from society. Yes. That's hardly and tolerating our existence. Let's do a contrast. Let's do a contrast. Tell me, in Saudi Arabia, Inside Saudi Arabia, how many Jewish communities have existed inside Saudi Arabia for the last 1400 years? Not Sorry? Not many. Not many. I mean, wait, wait, can you point to me the, the historical Jewish community of Medina, for example? There wasn't. There wasn't? They haven't existed for a long time. When, when, when did they disappear? Shortly after Islam started. So in, the, country, so, have had Jews in, in, so in the heart of the Islamic world, the very place where Islam emerged, yeah, right? The very place where Islam emerged, there are no continuous historical Jewish communities because Muhammad had them all kicked out. What now, about, what where about, did, where what did about, Christianity you, start? I'll tell you where where did Christianity survive? start? In Israel. In Israel. And can you point to a continuous historical Jewish community inside Palestine? Most of the centuries, can you? most of these centuries can between you? then and now, can let you? me give my answer. Go on. Most of the centuries between then and now, Palestine was ruled by the Muslims. So, that, so the Christians can't take credit for that. No, hold on, hold on. We ruled Palestine from the 4th century to the 7th century. So we had hundreds of years in which, if we had been inclined to do so, like Muhammad was the inclined to, to do so, so, we could have forced the Jews out. The Romans tried to force them When out. they were pagan in the 7th they didn't AD. Succeed. They didn't succeed. And it just so, no, hold on. You're talking you about, succeed. you're trying to merge what the Roman pagans did in 70 AD. No, can you let me make my point? hundreds of years of Christian rule from the 4th century to the 7th century. You're a poor student of history, sir. Can you let me make my point? Poor student of history. Can you let me make my point? Yeah, go on. Your point was that if the government tries to force us out, then there's no way we'll be able to remain. No, a Christian. But no, no, no. Mischaracterizing me again. I no, said no. that Christians think, hold on, hold on a in a Christian Do civilization, you, if they had been inclined to stop Jews living in their lands, there's can plenty of evidence to show you that let, they... Can you then let, deal with my point. Don't mischaracterize to, it. I am trying to, but you're cutting me out halfway. Don't mischaracterize it then. So you don't know what I'm trying to say. Because you you're are mischaracterizing. You Go don't on. know what I'm trying Go to on. say because you're not giving me a chance Go to on. say it. Now you were saying that if the government wants to get rid of us, then... No, not a government. I said a Christian government. Are you saying that a Christian government has more capabilities than a pagan government? What I'm saying... A, a pagan government wants to get... You're changing the topic. Po impossible. But if a you're changing the no, topic. No, I'm not. I'm trying to make a point, but you're trying to... Right, go on. Go on. If, a, if it's possible, if you're, you're, you're saying that a Christian government wants to get rid of us, then they'll be able to do so because it's a small in number. I am now, saying... Now, if, if that, that's if not what I'm... That, if a Christian that's not government could do that, a pagan government could also do that. But the fact is, it's possible for a nation or a religion or a group to, to remain in the country even though the government's trying to kick us out. It happens. Okay, the Romans weren't, weren't Christian, but they tried to kick us out and they didn't succeed. You're Christians missing the point I'm making. Try and kick us out and not succeed. You're missing. So I'll, I'll, I'll re-emphasize my point again because you're refusing to engage with it. So I'll say it very clearly, as clearly as I can in English, and then maybe you'll engage with what I'm saying. Without, without trying to justify any of the anti-Jewish pogroms of Christian history. I'm not trying to justify any of them. I don't agree with them. I don't think that's how we should behave. But what I am saying is that within the Christian worldview, our understanding how, of how the world should be, that Christians have always had a place for the Jewish people, that we have not we have not had an understanding that Jews should be wiped out by force or by political action. The very fact that some Christians have done that, I am not seeking to justify. I am saying that when they have done that, they have acted against the Christian narrative because the Christians see themselves as growing out of Judaism. 
as someone as part of a new covenant built on an old covenant. And we believe that Jews should come to accept Christ as their Messiah. And that is about invitation. It's about conversion. It's not about killing. In that case, going back to your original point, or I, I say original from when I came in, you were saying that by, uh, by not embracing Christianity, we're rejecting European civilization. By not accepting the Christian worldview, we are rejecting. We are, we are disconnecting ourselves from European civilization. So That's the what European I'm saying. civilization has, ever since it's had Christians, it's had a mixture of Christians and Jews. I've always so said that. So therefore, You're just not listening. So therefore, by, by continuing to be Jewish, we're not going against the You're just Euro not European ethos. You're just not listening. I've heard everything you said. You haven't engaged with what I'm saying. You're just ignoring what I'm saying to you. No, I'm not. If I am saying that in my worldview, But your worldview you is the whole of Europe. If I'm saying... We don't have to embrace your worldview if I'm saying, to be I, If I'm saying... I am We're saying, talking about European ethos. Here. I am saying, We're about European no, but culture. what you don't understand, bro, when you jumped into the conversation, is I was speaking to an ethno nationalist who said that black people had no claim to European land and that Europe should be an enclave for white people. And that's what I was challenging yeah. when you jumped into but, this conversation. But you yeah. did that's yeah. what I was arguing yeah. against yeah. when you jumped into you this did conversation. Say you've got an you agenda. No, 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 so no, have you got a problem with that? No, you Do you I, have a problem I, I, I with me challenging? Challenging an ethno nationalist who says, Are you saying, you you Are you saying, if you give me a chance, are you saying, you say, Are you saying you say, that I shouldn't challenge that worldview? No, but you, you challenge it by saying, So I can challenge it. But you said yes. that the Jews, by continuing to be Jewish, are you're rejecting. The victim. You're the victim. I'm, the time. I'm quoting what he you're said. You're the victim. No, I'm quoting what he said. He's misquoting he says, what I'm saying. He's misquoting. He was saying that by not embracing Christianity, we're rejecting European civilization. What I am and saying that was, the was that an ethno nationalist by rejecting Christianity can have no claim to European civilization. That is what I actually so you said. Mentioned Jews as you well. have misquoted me. No, you jumped exactly. into a conversation yeah, yeah. and you made it about you. Somebody asked no, you. No, you <laughs> made this conversation you. about you. Somebody I was no, no. talking to somebody an ethno nationalist asked you. and that ethno nationalist somebody was trying. Let me finish. Shut up for a second. This isn't about you. I know you want to make it about you, but it really isn't about you. You are what, what I was saying. No, you interrupted my conversation and asked me a question. Tell the story properly. I will. What actually happened, for those of you that are late, is that I was debating an ethno nationalist. He asked you no, something untrue. What I was actually saying was that. I was debating an ethno-nationalist. He can wait his turn. What I was debating was an ethno-nationalist's claim that Europe should be made an enclave for white people. And I was saying that that worldview is a rejection of European civilization because European civilization was built upon a Christian worldview and that a Christian worldview has always been multiracial, yeah, yeah. multi-ethnic, multinational, an internationalist worldview that is open to all peoples from all tribes, including the Jews, yeah. to worship the one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That is not inconsistent with the idea that Jews can live in Europe and that they should be called to worship that one God the same way as everyone else is. Hold on a second. He then asked you, he saw me here, and he asked you, would you say that by being Jewish he's also rejecting European culture? And you said yes. What I said was You that said yes. He asked you if I No, I don't believe I did, but I'm did. willing to... Okay, let's, let's just... So let me qualify that, because it's worthy of qualification. If I said yes, and I can't remember whether I did, Here's what I meant by that yes. What I meant by that yes is that European civilization, our understanding of values, our understanding of right and wrong, our concept of art, our depictions of art, which are not Jewish because they depict human forms that are based upon a Christian understanding of the world. That is what I'm talking about. That is the essence of our culture and our civilization. Our very understanding of time. Just look on your bank card. 
Your bank card uses a Christian calendar. You can't even speak to me in English without recognising the influence of Christianity on our culture because English grammar was formed by the King James Bible and the Book of Common Prayer. Everything about our civilization, from its architecture, from its architecture, and the normalization of English grammar is due to those two books. Learn my history. So, in terms of European civilization, that is what I mean by saying yes. If you reject Christianity, you're rejecting European civilization. But European civilization, because it is Christian, has always accepted that the Jews have a place inside Europe. And the fact that your Jews have lived inside Europe, defended by Christians, like Cromwell, who invited the Jews to return, and like numerous other Christian leaders who defended the Jews, he mentioned the Crusades. What he forgot to mention is the Christian bishops who tried to save the Jews from those rampaging crusaders. He didn't mention that. Why? Because he has a victim narrative that is ahistorical. Jews have always had a place in Europe. The belief that they should become Christian is not contradicting the idea that they have a place in Europe. Like as long as always. Him, how we had to go to get those in all Europe, like hundreds of years ago, Christian did have those values. Of where is your evidence? Where is your evidence, young man? The claim that he's made. Where is your evidence? The Inquisition wasn't a value of everybody accepted. Do you know that the first Christians were all Jews? Yes. Do you honestly think that the very first Jews would have said, there's no space for Jews? They no. want another religion. Explain to me. But it's evolved. Over years, it's no. evolved. So what I'm saying, no, hold on one second. You're arguing that we evolved to a position in which we accepted Jews. I am saying that in history, the very first Christians were Jews. So yeah. there has always been a place no. for Jews within the Christian no, so worldview. Yeah, there was a few years, a few, a few years, when Christian was against Jews and Christian they killed most of the Jews in Europe. And that's a historical event. Where, when, did, when did this change occur? About 1,500. Nope, you're wrong. What? The Inquisition was about this time. No. The first edict of toleration of the Christian worldview was given by the Edict of Milan by St. Constantine in 315. The first time that Christians could truly be said to have dominated the Roman Empire came a hundred years later. And the Christians of the 4th and the 5th centuries, even then you could find Roman pagan communities within the Christian Empire. You could find Jewish synagogues. You could find Jewish communities. It is a simple myth that we have been taught that Christians have been dominated by intolerance. It is not to say that Christians have not done intolerant things. I totally accept that they do and have, and in no way am I seeking to justify it or defend it. But what I am saying is that within the Christian worldview, there has always been a place for the other, for the Jew, for the pagan. It has not always been the case that Christians have decided that we have no space for anyone else. And you're saying, but you can't say you're not justifying it while you do. Do you agree that while the Roman was in a certain point, the Inquisition exists? Sorry? Do you agree that in a certain point, Christian killed Jews and yes. hanged them? Yes. So how can you say that? You the know? question is, are they following the teachings of Christ or are they not following the teachings of Christ? Can you show me in my scriptures where it commands me to persecute Jews? There are many interpretations to the Bible. So you, is that a yes or a no? No. That's a, that's a no. 
You don't. You haven't got a clue, have you? You haven't got a clue. Of what? Can you show me in my scriptures, if I got my Bible out now, can you show me where it commands me to persecute Jews? Well, it doesn't. But Probably no, doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Let's say it doesn't. Right. So if someone does something, hold on a second. If someone does something that is in contradiction to their beliefs, are they following their beliefs or going against them? They're following their beliefs. They're, they're following their beliefs. They're saying, they're justifying those acts with belief. They're justifying those acts with their religion. Okay, would you say, would you say that someone who acts in contradiction to what they claim to believe, cannot claim to it's truly follow their beliefs. There's no one in the Bible that says that you should accept you. It might have been historical. Oh, you're wrong. Oh, you're so totally wrong. Shall I tell you what it actually says? Well, yeah. What it says... Yeah, I will. Okay. I have a Bible. Of course I have a Bible. I have it on the Bible. Right. So, let, let, let's actually look at what it says about Jews. Is that... Okay. 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 All right. Now I'm not saying now. No, one second. Let's just let's let's just get it. Just want to make sure that I find the most relevant part. Just want to make sure I find it. Okay. So, impartiality. Okay, here we go. Right, are you listening? Yep. Yep. But because of your stubbornness and unrepentant heart. Yeah? You are storing up wrath for yourselves in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who will render to each person according to his deeds, to those who by perseverance in doing good seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life. But to those who are selfishly ambitious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, wrath and indignation, there will be tribulation and distress for every soul of man. Every, does that mean every you and me? Okay. Jew and non-Jew? Okay. okay. Yeah, every soul of man. Yeah. There will be tribulation and distress for every soul of man who does evil, of the Jew first and also of the Greek. But glory and honor and peace to everyone who does good, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. So it's saying, if you do good, yeah, so that has space for you, right? Yeah. Okay then, so it's the very opposite of what you think, is it not? Yes. Uh, how many books does the crystal have? Wait, well, no, no, hold on, we're not jumping around. We're talking about, we're talking about whether the Christian scripture has place for the Jews. Yes, and again. No, they do have. Yes. I think they do have place for the Jews, but I don't think it's like a matter of from missing and like it's giving. Mom? Listen, listen, well, go on. How yep. many books does the Christian have? Two. Christians have, Christians have disagreement about how many books we use. So, you see that's the whole... Christian no, has don't change... Don't, don't. If I'm not wrong. Your, your, where is your evidence that Christians are taught to persecute Jews? Please. Do you agree with me about that? Hey, we're, because many. we're not. Yeah, you know, no, I'm saying, I think there's no. other books that... Right, if but we're not then... Agree, but there are many... No, sorry. hold on, you're changing the subject. We're talking Jesus about the place of the Jews yeah. within the Christian worldview. Now... We have a place. Most of no, you've saying, always had a place. There are many, many you have always had a place. This text defines our belief. Yes, there are different types of Christians. So, do you agree that some of them have different worldviews? What would be your understanding of a good Christian? Yes, that's a fact. Well, I believe... Yeah, they become a Christian, become a Christian. And they are a good Christian. And they are a Follows the basic Bible. So a good Christian is one who follows the Bible, right? Yes. Right, so it is important whether the scriptures teach that Jews should be persecuted or not, doesn't it? Yes, but I'm saying that there are bad Christians, but you know, all over the history, and what they did justify their faith if, by religion. If, if, the, if the faith that I have teaches that I should love my neighbor as I love myself, okay, and you're my neighbor, right, that means you 
I owe you a duty of love that I owe to myself. So I seek your betterment, right? No, no. So if a Christian doesn't do that, they're not following the faith, right? Not following the faith. Thank you. Exactly. Exactly. No. Exactly. So they're not following. More types. Many, many. So give me an example, because you're you're clutching at straws, bro. Give me an example where it says in my scripture we should persecute Jews. Like, I can show you in the Quran where it openly states that Christians and Jews should be humiliated. I can show you that verse. Right. So when a Muslim humiliates a Christian or a Jew, they're following Islam. But now I'm challenging you. I am saying my faith teaches me to love you like myself. If I don't love you like myself, I'm a bad Christian. If I do love you like myself, I'm a good Christian. For you, for your argument to stand, you have to show me in my Bible where it teaches me to persecute you. Can you show me that? Not in this Bible. But as said, Any Bible. There are many, many which Bible? If you're going to say, if you're going to say not this Bible, which Bible do you have in mind to use? There are many interpretations. Every sentence in many ways. Which Bible? do you intend to use to show that we Christians are called to example. Give me an example. If your Bible would have said, love all humans. What? If your Bible would have said, love all humans. People form, like, Christians could say, well, Jews are not human, so I don't need to love them. Do you see what I mean with like, interpretation? I get what you're saying, but the scriptures teach that anyone who is a descendant of Adam is a human. So they can go past it. What I'm saying about if you, if you go, if Christ, you go to, it's to basic, land, it's good for all kinds of people. You, I'm saying there were people all over the history using religion, religion especially Christ, to, stop to justify the their acts. Act. What I'm saying to you, bro, is if someone simply ignores what the scriptures teach and does the opposite, they're not a good Christian. So those examples where Christians have failed to love their neighbor are examples of where Christians... What? What? Let, let that was in cash. Let him give it to me. Let me! When he gives it to me in my hand. Let me! Right, guys, if he doesn't debate me, if he doesn't put the money in my hand, I'm not debating him. Right. Anyway, bro, let, let me just let me just let me just read this to you. Okay. I am telling you the truth in Christ. I am not lying. My conscience testifies with me in the Holy Spirit that I have great sorrow and unceasing grief in heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed, separated from Christ, for the sake of my brethren, i.e. the Jewish people, for my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom belongs the adoption as sons, and the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the temple, service, and the promises, who are the fathers, and from whom is the Christ according to the flesh, who is over all God blessed forever. Amen. The Christian faith is saying that from the Jewish people, I'm guessing you're a Jew, okay, from the Jewish people have come, have come all of these things. Paul has just lauded you with honor and he's just said how he desires the Jewish people should become Christian. He desires it so much that he could think to himself, if it would save them, I would be separated from Christ so that you could be saved. That's the Christian narrative towards the Jews. We Christians desire that our cousins in the covenants, the Jewish people, the very root of our religion, the very basis upon which we ourselves are built, should come into complete fulfillment by seeing Christ as their Messiah, as we see him as their Messiah. That's the Christian worldview for the Jews. Not what you've heard from whoever you've heard it from. You look after yourself. I need the loo. I really need the toilet. Yeah. Tell that I'm coming back. So this is big money. He's going to give it in my hand. Ready? Is, is he, he going to give it in my hand? Let me. Wait, 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 wait,